Dude. Here we are, back again. Back again. Dude! Look at your line, bro. Yeah. Whew. Oh my God. How are you, are you getting flashbacks or? Enjoy, Nico. Thank you. Oh, I'm getting the creeps. Yeah, dude. Like, is this loaded? Their dream so Nico dropping. There's a lot to be said about chasing your dreams. Sometimes, however, it's your dreams that are chasing you. Oh, this sunrise! Holy smack around it. Oh, oh, this is a lot nicer than being stuck on a boat. Do you have enough uh, heating in your seat there? Yeah. Turn that up to the max. Yeah. Get that stuff onto the max. Yeah. Wow, it's so funny. It took us, what did it take us? Four days to get up here with the boat? Yeah. With Fuck. puking, with <laughs> pooping, puking, yeah. and. Are you feeling like coming back to the zone with the avalanche la happening last time and like, are you feeling something on that stuff? Yeah, I'm like not allowing myself to dream for today to be happening, you know? Yeah, I'm kind of the same, like, it's it's kind of too good to be true. Yeah. Revenge. Send it! Revenge is a dish best served cold. Oh, wow. Especially if it's south facing. That's what, that's what I was thinking about. Two years ago, we are exploring the northern shores of Norway, looking for new mountains to ride, and we are hit by this storm. Biggest storm of the winter, and we see on the map there's a little bay we can seek shelter in. And we're in this bay, it's stormy, it's snowing. We kind of come out from the trees and we just see, like, in the middle of the storm, the sun is shining down on the dream zone. I just knew like, wow, this is the dream, so we have made it. I felt like our group dynamic there was just like, let's just push it as far as we can. And we pushed it, you know, past the edge. The whole thing pops. Biggest avalanche I've seen, and I don't see Nico. You know, there I was almost being wiped off the mountain and buried alive. But what I was left with, it was more like this loss of the dream zone. I'm okay. Because my attraction to it was so strong, just like overpowering every other emotion that day. I just, I felt like I needed to go back. I felt like, I felt like I needed revenge. Revenge. The oldest motivation known to mankind. I will have my vengeance in this life or the next. Ah, revenge! <laughs> Nico, you've been watching too much Formula One. Ah, oh, there's, it's so deep. We're gonna have the day of our time of our lives. Dude. That one time I went to Japan, it was like this. Look at this! What the hell? And I think these slopes are like perfect size for today. Condition-wise. Yeah. 
So the thing when you are in avalanche terrain and all the kind of safety measures you, you take, it happens as a group. During that first storm two years ago, I had to do a photo shoot with Norena. And Christer has another sponsor, so he can really come with us. While the photo shoot was happening, I got restless and I like went skiing by myself. This top section here it has gotten some wind, I could tell. So I was in avalanche train, it was quite steep, and I released a few slough avalanches, and it was kind of wild. Woo, pop. If I were to get caught in an avalanche and buried, I would have no, no chance of surviving. If you are buried in an avalanche and you're alone, there's no one to dig you out. Like, you're dead for sure. But even as a group, skiing serious lines far away from roads in a storm is so dangerous. <laughs> oh, be fun, this road! Man, I mean, it's fucking charging. The hell you can't fly in a storm, so if you're too injured for your friends to help you out of there, you're in serious trouble. And I've skied so many lines in the past where I've never even thought of that. And the fact that we're all still okay is kind of just pure luck. So this time around, we're in the same bay. It's stormy, but now we're not sending Krista off on the Kulwar rampage, and we're on tiny slopes. Holy shit! That is deep! Dude, what the hell? Look at your avalanche! And I ripped out the whole thing. So just kind of going into terrain where an avalanche doesn't really have consequences. Watch out, Nico is carrying his skis. <laughs> Someone got that. Whoa. <laughs> Another beautiful day in Finnmark. Freaking. That's a long ridge, but uh, I think it's a good ridge. Yeah, it's like the perfect ridge. And there's, we have our son coming in right over there. <laughs> My name is Anders. I'm the photographer on this trip. 
The photographer thinks it's hilarious that we don't want to go tree skiing, but we want to go ski this ridge and We want to walk color. on rocks instead of skiing super deep powder. Like we have deep snow in the forest. We know that we have been out the day before. We look on the weather forecast, it's a lot of wind. The avalanche conditions are going to be extremely tricky. I think this cool art, if we get to ski it too, if it's not too sketchy, we'll be having a high grand time. But still, we, we choose to walk this stony ridge to hopefully find a couloir to, to ski. It's an adventure, yeah. Like, it's snowing like crazy. And we're walking on this rocky ridge. Yeah. How do, how do you feel about that? It doesn't look that bad from here, I think. Like, it looked worse from over there. A lot of the pleasure that I get from skiing is not just like the sensation of floating through powder and being on a cloud. It's the feeling of challenging yourself, trying to get to places that are, you know, unlikely for a human to be in. Look at the view, Krister. You want to look at the view. It's amazing. And I'm so happy we put crampons on. I'm feeling like Superman. I, I freaking love this. I noticed that out there by the sea, there's not a very deep snowpack. So if you're following the ridges, you're not actually on snow, you're just on rock. And I see that you can actually just climb the ridge and be safe your whole way up till you get to the top of the couloir to assess the snow from a position of safety. I'm glad we brought the rope. Yeah, me too. Where you're never actually putting yourself in danger before you get into the run you want to ski. But like it's for sure here. Yeah, this is it, I think. We should definitely drop that cornice. Yeah. Avalanche control. I guess it won't break when you, where you, uh, behind where you are cutting it. No, I think I'm okay. I'll just make sure I'm standing on rock. Oh! First, oh. oh! Yes! The whole thing freaking ripped. <laughs> that, oh, look at this! Oh, yeah, yeah. We have. Holy shit, that's big too. Wow. Yeah, just call uh, Shermer Avalanche Control at your service. Well, what's the plan now? Well, now we ski it. We did Avalanche Control and then we ski it. Yeah, now we can ski it. <laughs> Bleh. That was so satisfying to see. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's so satisfying to be up here with yeah, the uh, and not be down there. Pretty crazy, like seeing those forces in action, like live when you're right there. Mother nature is in charge for sure. Have fun, be careful. Okay, ski it. Oh, it's still good, dude. Okay, not that good. <laughs> I wasn't forgetting about the avalanche I had when I attempted the dream zone the first time, but it's two years ago. And even back then I was so focused on riding the dream zone that the avalanche was more like a nuisance. Yeah, it ripped all the way down to those facets on the ice layer. But now, like, seeing it, it definitely, like, yeah, it's a good refresh. Is it going really slow? Yeah, it's going really slow. Okay, so it's really hard. Yeah. If Nico is going this slow, it says something. So, yeah, I wouldn't say great success. It would have been softer in the trees. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take it slow and easy. You think I should do it, or? Yeah, I mean, it's not dangerous, it's just... Shitty, shitty ski. Tough side voice on ice. <laughs> and look how big Davi is. This is like as big as what happened two years ago in Europe. Bigger, here. maybe. Yeah, even bigger. But I'm glad this time around we sent the corners first instead of sending me first. You know what they say? It's better to ski on the breed than to be in the debris. Oh, wow. And this is still kind of soft. Ha <laughs> ha! Woo. We used to back from a lot of fire Hold everything back All emotions and desires I'm uh, Jonas and uh, I have been the videographer on this trip it's not just a filmer, like Jonas is a true asset to the group. We do snow assessment together, he's filming, he's droning, he's uh, carrying the biggest, baddest uh, backpack of all of us. I find myself thinking, you know, that uh, saying that if your friends jump 
off the bridge would you do it <laughs> and it like it, it describes my situation quite quite well oh, we got skis for you Jonas here big boy skis shades are officially on that is nice it feels good to be back in the dream zone but I'm like I'm, I'm trying to control my excitement I was kind of prepared for the same uh, rush that we had uh, last time uh, I'm getting those kind of vibes we had last time too with like amazing snow going up like if it's this on the spine face nickel <laughs> yeah we're gonna have the time of our lives oh wow it's okay when the guys when they when they will see the sound they they go nuts and uh, like this whole left side looks yeah. so nice and cruisy <laughs> they're just uh, climbing and okay let's just keep the fingers crossed and <laughs> hope for the best okay I'm, I'm i'm getting ready we're getting psyched i'm gonna follow the nico train that avalanche two years ago there were so many obvious red flags that was us pushing despite our better knowledge i was kind of consumed by it so it's just like ignoring the dangers the bigger problem didn't really appear to me till after we'd left the dream zone and found ourselves on kamangstinan faced with the knowledge that we didn't have When we were climbing Kvannungstein on, one thing was like, I was shook up from the avalanche. And just like that actual like fear of this whole thing ripping. But we were also just finding these layers of instability. Oh, we have this. Uh... But we just didn't have the knowledge to assess it properly. Let's turn back. Yeah. If we're not sure, then don't go. Don't go, yeah. We kind of, as a group, realized if we want to be pushing it in the mountain, we need to be on top of the snow science and have the best information out there. And we really made an effort to up the level, I would say, of our knowledge as a group. We dug, we discussed the snow and... We did a bunch of work now over two years. And then driving up to the Dream Zone, we just stopped by Kallingstinan again. And we get to the exact same spot where we turned around last time, finding weak layers. It's kind of bad. But now we have the tools, we have the knowledge. We could assess the snow and see that, okay. It's sliding, but it's not... It's not propagating even, and it's not propagating and this is like holding on. It's not perfect, but it's safe to push on. Boom! <laughs> and we have the run of a lifetime. I felt like that was a huge confidence boost when going back to the dream zone. It cracked. Yeah. yeah. And it cracked all the way. Very fresh snow. Like we're gonna stay here for a couple of days. Should stabilize in a few days, don't you think? Yeah. Maybe tomorrow, you know. But I think today is the day with the light. Just a bit like what big to worry like if it's sunny. The forecast for the next days aren't that good. And we were there. We were standing looking up at the dream zone. Oh, are we going for it? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Baby! Actually, the like the spine with the diving board looks really nice. Don't film this, you know, this is that. Everything that I do in my life is to get to ride stuff like this. I gotta admit, I was pretty freaking eager to go for it. What was, when did it pop? 10th from the... First from the... No, 10th from the uh, wrist. Yeah. Fuck that. We can't change nature. Nature is and thus what it be. I think that's like the key to like adjust to reality. Do you want to see it, Christian? What? It has changed. All day tomorrow. Nah. Just the uh, open snow, high tech app. I think it could be the day. It's even less wind. Yeah, less wind, and also it's better because the sun comes no in later. No way. So, oh, that's so nice. Big. I just hope it's not big. No, it's not baked. I hope it's just settled. I don't. I hope we don't have the instability. And if you do, I have a good feeling. Your feelings serve you well, young Shredder, <laughs> but don't let them cloud your judgment. <laughs> oh my lord! Give it to me. 
Hello. It's me. I'm gonna ski you today. You have better visibility than yesterday. The ability to. Okay, Jonas. See you down here again. The problems we had found in the snow were not persistent. These are transient weak layers, the sort of thing that stabilizes with time. Okay, we're about to move up. The snow seems really good so far. Oh la la. <laughs> this is where we part ways. This is where the story begins. Whoa! How does it look? So it looks real. like my dreams. No way. Christer! <laughs> what? <laughs> I brought my ice axe just for this part. Like proper ice? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, just let us know on the radio if it's too gnarly. There's a spine down here waiting for you if you if you want it. Ah, oh, this is good stuff. Oh my god. Okay, Nico dropping in three, two, one. Nico dropping. Fifth, they're dropping in. Dude, we did it. Oh. We're in the I dream zone. Ah. You want to do the other one? Round two. Top side boy. Top side boy. In the pro oh, over the here. Whoa, yeah, yeah. That's mine. Yeah, yeah, that's yours. Yeah. Holy macaroni. Yeah, it's technical. You have to be on it. <laughs> I think your trickiest part is like to like roll over there. Yeah. Oh, I was just so nervous. You have this. Honestly, like you have everything it takes to do this with style and grace. That's nice. You got this. Have fun. Nico dropping. See these eyes so green. I can stare for a thousand years. Just be still with me. <laughs> wow, dude, that is so cool. Come on, Christy. Come on. Oh, it's doing good. Dang control. Yeah, dude. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful! Ah! Oh. Oh. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> you killed that. <laughs> that was no problem for you. <laughs> Dude, I lost my pole. No way! Run. What? And I did the air with what? no pole. New pole, new opportunities. Revenge, like this is the proper revenge run. Yeah, this is the, the revenge. The actual. <laughs> Ciao! How are you? Are you getting flashbacks or? I'm feeling good actually. Feeling like we're in the right spot. Yeah. You're gonna ride it so well. Wow. You're gonna drop from up there? Yeah. Have fun. Enjoy, Nico. Thank you. Here's the dropping. That is so sick! Oh, that 
that looks so sick. Oh! Yeah, Chris. Three, two, one. Thank you for dropping. Macaroni. The dream zone! <laughs> Revenge! On oh, the dream, dream zone! zone. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm so happy we got this. <laughs> happy hockey. Yeah. Not the survival hockey. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Good work, all of you. Yeah, yeah how Great team. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> I can tell from my track, I did a mighty fine pizza on that diving board. Oh yeah, you did. <laughs> I saw it from the top. Yeah. <laughs> you, you can see how wide I was. 